everyone! Welcome to the vlog! This may dalong heat dynamica. Ganyan siya. Pag nagawa ko to, ibig sabihin ganun lang pala yung cream cheese drink na mga gusto ko. Moment of truth. Para kadiri. <laughs> Ba't ganun? Okay. Fail. Move on tayo sa next. Since, no? Nasa mood ako na pag-usapan yung mga bagay na gusto kong pag-usapan. <laughs> Parang yung vlog ko last week, which was, you know, all about books, di ba? Done now. The next is, as you can see with me right in front of me, are my coffee paraphernalia. <laughs> Hindi po ako magaling magluto. Though I would love to learn more. I just really don't have the time. But prior to all of like my kitchen, whatever, kape po talaga ang pinaka passion ko. So we're gonna talk about the stuff that I have right now that is all related to my love for coffee. Ano ba yung mga ginagamit ko? And a disclaimer lang, I haven't studied coffee like professionally. For me, the point is, gusto ko ba yung lasa? Basta gusto ko yung lasa, okay na ako doon. There are a few important things when you want to have good coffee. But for now, sabihin ko muna kung ano yung mga meron ako dito. So, itutur itutur ko talaga kayo na sa aking mga favorite coffee cups and also yung aking favorite coffee gear. So yeah, let's start with the things that I have that I super highly recommend or love. One is, ito, medyo luma na to. This is a Nespresso frother. Basically, inside, meron siya nito, which creates the whipping or the frothing. So, lagay ko yun ang gatas dyan. Makakagawa siya ng parang, yun, di ba yung foam na nakikita natin on top. And there are different settings according to the foam that you actually like for it to produce. Plus the fact that even if you're not really after the foam, it's also good as a milk warmer. So if you're the type na gusto mo na yung milk mo ay medyo warm, di ba? Pwede mo na rin tong gamitin. Another thing that I've had is a coffee conical burr grinder. So I put my beans in there, tapos siya yung nag-grind, and then the dial is for how much but the dial on the side is for how big you want the grind to be because if you're not familiar yet, the way that you like your coffee has a lot to do with the way that it is ground as well. Kunwari mo yung espresso, napakanitis ng pag-grind noon. So meron ako dito, oh may sample, coffee, coffee shop ba ako? Tawagin nyo na yung aking coffee shop na Ricafe. Ricafe, binubrudol ko kayo. Nakita nyo ba yan? So, this is yung parang super duper fine. Tapos, ito naman yung hindi masyado fine. So, medyo may pagka-course. Pwede may range yan ng sobrang malaki tapos sa sobrang fine sa espresso. Kailangan pala super fine siya to minimize the air. Oh, I'll show you. This may dalong heat dynamica. This can make actually like different sorts of drinks. May steam din siya. You can actually use this for frothing your milk. Although I don't really use that anymore that much. Pwede siyang mag-steam din. So pwede siyang mag-init lang din ng milk. Pero pwede rin siyang gumawa ng espresso, espresso longo, ristretto. Iba-iba. Ayan, makikita nyo. Yung iba-ibang options. And then of course, the ones here that are like basic. Like your espresso shot over there. So gawa tayo ng isa para makita ninyo. Yan, pero sa mga espresso drinkers, yung talagang shot of espresso lang yan. Single. Tsaka para sa mga single na rin. So there's beans in there already. So I don't really need to grind it. When you see inside, meron, pwede mo rin siyang i-adjust kung gaano kalaki yung pag-grind ng beans na gusto mo. Let's just tap the single. Para makita ninyo. So, yan. If you look inside, ang sarap ng itsura niya, di ba? Yan yung crema niya. Okay, so sometimes, pag nasa mood ako, ito yung iniinom ko. I just take a shot of espresso para medyo mabilis yung gising. But more often than not, I just take this big cup. Kind of feels like a simple brewed coffee every morning. I just press that and I'm good. Balik tayo dito. You know what I realized about myself is that because I love coffee so much that I need to bring it everywhere with me. But then, ako na ito dadaling kahit saan with me, di ba? So may mga alternative ako for when I'm traveling. So I have a traveling set for my coffee. So I've got this. This is actually a grinder, so it can grind. So you put the beans inside. Actually, yung ginamit ko na pang grind 
sa mga ito ay ito. So you put the beans inside of here and then ito yung pedal niya. Kino ginawang bisikleta. Pero yan, yan. Madigit yung nyo. This is the dial and then you go like this. Ina-adjust mo siya dyan para lumaki o lumiit yung pag-grind niya. So there's the ground coffee inside. Meron din akong to-go na filter. So at home, this is what I use if I want just a simple pour-over. Nabili ko to sa Landers. Napakamura lang nito. Parang mga 500 pesos lang yata. The one thing that I like about this is that you don't have to buy the paper filters anymore. You just wash it. Versus this one, I have actually a Hario of V60 drip. Pero yung kaibahan nito ay kailangan mo pa siya lagyan ng papel sa loob. And this is also for like for bigger batch, I guess. Versus this one na for single use, very happy ako dito. But when I'm camping, when I'm traveling, and you know, hindi mo maasahan kasi lahat, kahit na hotel. Eh. So I bring my own beans. And then I bring the portable manual grinder. I grind my own beans. And then this is my to-go filter for a simple pour-over. So nilalagay ko lang dyan yung beans. Lagay natin dyan, di ba? So if you, if you look at that, lalagay ka lang dyan ng boiling water and then you can have your coffee. Now, I don't really anymore weigh or measure the beans, even like measure the temperature kasi kung talagang hardcore coffee person ka, may mga ganun pa eh. Ang importante lang sa akin is that it would taste good and it would taste fresh. Medyo maarte talaga, pero iilan lang naman yung arahan ko sa buhay eh, pagbigyan yun no. I just bought this actually today because I've been wanting this but then you know I said sige nga, I'll buy it for to try for today because I have a challenge for myself later this is uh, like a portable product ayan di press ko siya yeah ito yung mga nakikita niyo sa mga TikTok it's battery powered pwede na siya yan yung aking to go set moving on I think that one of the important things to have when you want good coffee, one is good beans. That's very, very important for me. The second is how long it's been roasted. When was its roasting bit? Because it means na kung kakaros niya lang, lalo na kung harvest the fresher it is, the better the quality because you get everything from it. So whatever the notes are in your coffee, na kung uha mo pala kasi fresh na fresh, fresh pa siya. I particularly get mine from Yard Stick Coffee, also the good cup. So yung sabi ko diba, good beans, pangalawa, when did they roast it? Carefully roasted on September 27, 2020. So not pa naman so far back in the past. So fresh pa siya. Tapos, Yung pangatlo ay, nung dumating ba sa'yo yung beans ay sealed na sealed siya. Kasi kung hindi, baka nga nakawala na yung freshness niya. Tapos pang apat, as much as possible, sana ikaw yung mag-grind. That's why I don't really subscribe to ground coffee already. Kasi kahit pa paano, may nawala na sa kanya. For me, ah, personally, hindi ko alam kung guni-guni ko lang yun. Pero para sa akin, mas gusto ko na ako yung nag-grind kasi hindi ko mas fresh yun. So, the yardstick, the good cup, those are my re recommendations when it comes to your coffee bean sources. Sige, tuloy lang tayo dito. Konti na lang naman na to. This actually is a the yardstick beans that I'm talking about. Nanilipat ko lang dito kasi usually they come in like mga 1 kilo packs like this. So, I just take some out and then put it on my kitchen counter. Meron din akong dika. So, yan ang gagawin ko mamaya para sa sarili. Kasi, gabi na, <laughs> hindi na masyadong umaga. So, nagdidikap ako. And then, this is Vietnamese coffee inside. A gift from my friend. Uh, ito, binigyan niya rin ako nito nung huli niyang punta. Origyan, Vietnamese coffee. Para daw makapag, ano, kape de chua. Hindi ko alam kung ganun ba yung pagsabi mo. Pero yun yung kape ng mga Vietnamese na nagahalo yung condensed milk at saka yung kape. Tapos, dito yung ginagawa sa thin filter. So, binigyan niya rin ako niyan. So, dito mo lalagay yung kape. Alagyan mo naman yung tubig. Alagyan mo sa ibabaw ng baso mo. Tapos, maghihintay dun sa bottom yung condensed milk. That's how they make their Vietnamese coffee. So, later, gagawin ko rin yan para sa inyo. And, 
That is actually it as far as the paraphernalia is uh, concerned. Pakita ko na lang din sa inyo mga favorite coffee cups ko. So I got one that's personalized, the bonis. Kasi ito nga, kit na kita ko dito. And then I also like the small cups like this for my espresso shots. Yan. And then ito lang itong tinatanong sa akin. Actually, hindi ko na nga alam kung saan ba ito galing. This is one of my favorite cups. And I also like this. This is a gift for my friend. That's the four of us in the family. And then on the back it says, anything goes with the bonus. Like, uh, Alright! So, well basically, that's kind of like what I wanted to share with you. And right now, what I'm gonna do is, I'll make a few brews for you. Just to show you na ang dali-dali lang pong gawin ito. Ano ba kasi yung origin ng aking pagiging coffee lover? One time, parang meron ako na-encounter na, parang sabi niya sa akin, kung gusto mo talaga, ayusin yung finances mo, kung paano ka mag-budget ng pera mo. Sa isang buwan, kolektahin mo lahat ng resibo mo, tapos tingnan mo kung saan nabupunta yung pera mo. So when I collected it, and I started accounting for each and every single thing that I spent for in the month, lumabas na ang lahat ng nagagastos ko sa kapit. But I have to find a way to make this sustainable. And so I started making coffee on my own. Um, doon nag-start yun. Sabi ko, kahit mahal ang machine, bibili ako ng machine kasi in the long run, mas mura pa rin to kasi bili ako ng bili ng kape araw-araw ng buhay ko, di ba, sa labas. So, nothing against coffee shops. I love the way that they do their coffee and I still go for coffee shops until today because I, I feel like they have a certain level of excellence that you can never achieve on your own unless sobrang aral, di ba? Pero, on a day-to-day -day basis, kung gusto mo lang naman talaga ng masarap na kape, ako na yung gagawa ng kape ko, diba? Alright, so, gagawa ko ng simple pour-over with my decaf beans. Ibigay tayo dito. So, ganyan siya. I can make that more, I can make that fewer, doesn't matter. Tapos yung makikita nyo, parang it's not as thick so this is what we did earlier, na parang medyo very deep and bold. But still, generally, when you do a pour over, mas malinis siya. Mas parang clear yung coffee mo. So that's my simple pour over. This is what I make for my boys, lalo na ngayong Christmas season. But uh, instead of like buying ready-made like powder chocolate drink, mas gusto ko talaga kasi medyo thick yung lasa ng chocolate drink ko. So, dahil ayoko rin yung magtsaga nung binabaterol ko yung cacao, halfway na lang, bumili lang ako ng ito, yung Hershey's Coco, actually. Para meron siya talaga nung lasang chocolate. Tapos, ang ginagawa ko ay ganito lang. So, I would put a little bit of this. Not too much because they don't like it. Like, deep kind of dark chocolate. And then, I, I usually put sugar. So, maglalagay ako ng sugar. Yan. Because it's hot water, nagme-milk na yan. Milk, sa loob ng frother, makikita nyo kung gano'n siya kabula. So, meron siyang levels of bula. <laughs> Napaka-amateur talaga ng mga anak ko dito. So, merong low level, may <laughs> mid-level, and high level of bula. <laughs> Tapos ito, yan, I think cold lang to. So, I'll warm it. So, aside from having milk, I will have whipping cream. So, you get that extra creaminess sa iyong hot choco. So, but this will do for now since we don't have that. Okay, let me see that. Sap ng lasa. Pour natin ha. Hindi pa ako marunong mag latte art. Oh, kita nyo. Ngayon, nilalagyan ko pa siya ng paipet na nutmeg or di kaya cinnamon. Oh, diba? So, meron na tayong hot choco. Meron tayong pour over. At meron tayong single shot espresso para sa mga malamig ang Pasko. Charot! <laughs> So, dupot lang tayo ng konteng. Well done. I mean, like, it, again, no, it depends on you how much you want it. So, there's the Vietnamese coffee. Just screw back natin ito. We're just gonna put it on top of this. I've got hot water. I have the condensed milk here. And the coffee is already in the fin filter. And then, lalagin lang natin siya ng hot water inside. And then, I put this on top. And there goes your Vietnamese coffee. Tapos 
espresso is usually dark, strong looking, and also yung crema niya, di ba? Parang kitang kita mong ganyan. And I usually like putting milk on it kasi parang feeling ko ang lakas, ang sharp nung distinction ng creaminess tsaka nung parang spike ng espresso. I'm gonna put milk again here and then froth again. At ilalagay natin siya dyan. Yum! Konting arte, a sprinkle ng mga coco ano. Then there you go, you have your espresso with milk. Okay, tapos na tayo sa mga drinks na lagi kong ginagawa. Ngayon naman, may dalawa akong drinks na never ko pang ginawa. Pero, sinave ko sa phone ko. Alam niyo, pag nag-browse kayo, tapos parang, oh, parang ang sarap na ito. save ka ng save, di ba? I might as well try it. So, we'll try first the mango tea cream cheese. So, it's already coffee, but tea. Ang trick dito ay, paano ko gagawa? nung cream cheese niya na parang ginawa niyang topping. Okay? Let's see if I can recreate that for myself. And I have my baby food processor here, which has been surprisingly very useful appliance. Akala ko ay baby food processor lang siya noon. Pero apparently, kaya pala niya mag-process talaga ng mga iba-ibang bagay. So, subukan natin. Since cream cheese lang naman din yun, and sugar, Baka naman pwede rin dito to. Diba? Gawin natin, i-liquify natin yung cream cheese using this. Tingnan natin kung magagawa ko nga ba talaga itong cream cheese ano ko. Experimento. Dahil pag nagawa ko to, ibig sabihin ganun lang pala yung cream cheese drink na mga gusto ko. Let's try a, a little first. I wonder if I should put milk, no? Hindi eh. <laughs> ano kaya yun? For an 8-ounce block of cream cheese, complete on a microwave and microwave. Bakit microwave lang pala? <laughs> Processor pa. Pinahirapan ko pa yung sarili ko. Nilagyan ko pa ng gatas. Eh, ma-microwave mo lang pala. Nakaartehan ko kasi eh. O, oh. so, subukan natin ha. Yung nakita ko sa Instagram. Okay? Alright! Let us try if it works. Sabi, lagyan ng mango, yellow, oh, tea. Mm. Oh, di ba? Tapos, ito na. Moment of truth. Mm. <laughs> parang kadiri. <laughs> Ba't ganun? <laughs> Ba't parang kadiri yung last? Huwag <laughs> na lang! <laughs> So there, there. You just took it off. Nish ni gahalo eh. Ang kaya sa mangga, kaya niya. Naliligaw lang yung cream cheese. Okay, fail. Move on tayo sa next. Creamy cinnamon coffee. Although siya ang ginamit niya ay instant coffee. Tingnan natin ako. So nilalagay ako ng espresso. Just a pinch of cinnamon. Drop off. Condensed. Too big. Ito na. Makikita na natin si Frother kung nag-work ba siya. Oh. oh lagyan mo na daw nito. Mm -hmm. And then, babalik natin muli ang ating pampabula. It actually says liquid cream, so I don't have that. So, ito na yung ating last sa list. So far, maputla. <laughs> Parang may anemic yung, yung version ko. Pero, mas bata pang yung kape niyan. I guess kasi mas talagang nag-whip yung instant coffee. para siyang dalgo na coffee. And so, for the topping, we have... Wow! Very Instagrammable. Oh, dahil cinnamon siya, nagyan natin na... Oh, di ba? Ayan na! Perfect! Alright, guys! And that is it! And of course, no? Bagong lahat, tapusin natin tong Vietnamese coffee natin para wala tayong hang-ups. You can drink it hot, you can drink it cold, you can put ice like that in. Haluin natin siya with the condensed milk. One of my favorite coffee in the world. Thank you guys for watching. And before I go, I forgot to say recommended ko pa rin pala to. 
yung Jacob's Well na wasala chai. So I tried tea earlier. I still have to perfect it. Iba yung reality kaysa sa Instagram. But this one is concentrated chai. If you're like a chai latte person, concentrated chai siya. Tapos nalagay mo lang mga siguro 1 teaspoon or 1 tablespoon. Depende kung gaano katapang nyo gusto. Together with your favorite vanilla milk or what have you. And you have an amazing chai latte right in the comfort of your own home. Hindi na kayo lalabas, diba? But yeah, so there we have it. Gumawa tayo ng isang challenge sa sarili. Then we've got different kinds of coffee here. I hope naman kahit papano, less intimidated na kayo sa paggawa ng sarili niyong masarap na kape. Nako, once you start this habit, you'll know that it's so doable, so achievable, especially in the day and age of TikTok and Twitter and Instagram because, you know, so many people are just so generous with their information when it comes to coffee. But here's my brutal for you guys. And uh, let me know in the comment section below kung nabrudol nga ba kayo <laughs> ni Rika Pe? At kung ano ang nabrudol ko sa inyo. Until next week, guys, subscribe na kayo if you haven't yet. And please turn on your notification bell para alam nyo when something new is coming up from me or from the entire household of the Bonnies. Bye, guys! See you next week!